tiny village of Mepadi in southern India. The hungry leopard was hunting for food and targeted Abdul Rahman's dog. He heard the cries of both his dog and the big cat echoing from the bottom of the deep well. And a leopard fell into the well when it tried to catch the dog. They fell in together. Villagers pull the dog out, and he's still alive. Big cat expert Scott Lopes says the leopard lost her appetite the second she fell. Everything in its mind is geared towards its survival. The idea of an easy meal is that the last thing on its mind. It needs to escape. The dog's safe, but the leopard can't get out. And the people in the village aren't going in. I was afraid. He was making growling noises, trying to escape. A leopard can jump up to 10 feet in the air, but this one is stuck 30 feet down. The big cat tries to climb out using her powerful three-inch long claws, but she's standing in two feet of cold water, and the walls of the well are hard-packed soil and clay. Every time she digs in to get a grip, the walls crumble under the weight of her 120-pound frame. One look, and veterinarian Arun Zakaria knows hypothermia is setting in. He wants to get that cold water out of the well, and quickly. Hoses are brought in to pump it out, but hypothermia is only one of his worries. There was a high chance for droning. But they can't get all the water out. Villagers throw in sticks and palm leaves, hoping to keep the leopard safely above water level. But Dr. Zakaria can tell the leopard is fading fast. He and his team will try a tranquilizer at the end of a long pole. We decided to go for a simple technique, that is a jab stick. Once she's sedated, they'll try and pull her out. Finally, success. Now they've got to move fast. But nobody dares crawl down the well without making sure the leopard is out cold. If this leopard wakes up, it could easily kill someone in the bottom of that well. According to Scott, there's one fail-proof way to make sure the coast is clear. By rubbing the hair sticking out of the leopard's ears. They are called guard hairs. Anytime those are touched by a stick or any, or any sort of object, the ear twitches. So a good way to tell if an animal is sedated or not is to stimulate those hairs inside the ear. And if the ear moves, the animal's starting to recover consciousness. And if they don't, then the animal is still safely sedated. Good news. She's out cold. But with water at the bottom of the well, she's still in danger of drowning. <laughs> Three men scramble down the well to secure the leopard for the lift. The leopard's out, but the rescuers are nervous. No one is sure when the big cat will wake up. She's rushed to the vet's truck, where Dr. Zakaria carefully examines the cat. It's good news. There were no physical injuries or, or, or any signs of fracture, dislocation, or anything. The animal was perfectly healthy. He gives her IV fluids to prevent dehydration. Then she's released back into the wild, far away from the village and any family dogs.